Good morning, July 9th, wonderful Wednesday on the Daily Echo. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you'll notice, I've slid myself off the screen a little bit so I can have room for the chart. Circle of Concern and Circle of Influence, uh, two of my favorite charts. Stephen Covey taught this principle, and I think all of us would be well to review this on and off in our lives because there is so much value in learning this. And understand that if you spend time in one of these two circles, the other circle gets smaller. So let's talk a little bit about them. We have this circle of concern, and, and that is things that do not apply to me. I have no control over those. The weather is a great one. We've talked about this in the past. I set up uh, two days from today, I'm gonna go fly a kite. I'm excited to fly the kite. I have no control if there's gonna be wind, if it's gonna be rainy. The day comes, it rains all day. I can sit in my house and be upset. I can complain, I can whine, I can call my friends. I can blog about it, but I'm not gonna change the weather. Um, or I can decide to do something different. You know, So the, the circle of concern are things we have no control over. Um, we have no control over the economy to a certain extent. We only have control over our business. The weather we talked about, um, Co-worker gossip, you know, we can only control if we gossip, but you know, you can't really control the person that's gossiping. The way we look, aside from plastic surgery, you know, you pretty much look the way you look. And uh, you know, work on that attitude. Make yourself look as good as you can, get in shape. There are certain things you can, but you really can't control um, certain genetic aspects of the way that you look, unless you, you know, you have to fork over some money for some plastic surgery. Circle of influence, you know, it's how I interact with others. Um, what am I doing in my own business? Um, what steps am I taking? Am I constantly worrying about things external that have, I, I have no control over? Am I working on the things I can control? How much do I exercise? You know, if I have high blood pressure and I have high cholesterol, I could complain all day long about my cholesterol or blood, blood pressure, but if I exercise and eat right, they're gonna go away. So we wanna make sure we're spending time in those areas we have control over. And so it's very important that we assess this as our day goes on. When you're frustrated and upset, look and see which circle it's in. If it's in the circle of concern, forget about it. There's nothing you can do about it. Just focus on those things you can. And as I said previously, if we spend time in one circle, the other one inherently becomes much smaller and that circle that we are in grows. And you've seen people that live their entire lives in the circle of concern. That's all they do. They spend all day on Facebook. They spend all day watching the news. They're concerned about everything they have no control over and their lives are typically miserable and they're upset. Focus on what you can do something about. If you do that, your life will become incredibly better and that circle will grow. So as you move forward today, do that. Uh, you can read about the circle of concern, circle of influence by just Googling Stephen Covey. He's given many, many seminars and lectures about this. Thanks as always for tuning in. We will be back at you tomorrow for a tremendous Thursday. Thanks. This is gonna be